Worldwide, different international standards are followed for hazardous area classification. International Electrotechnical Commission, often called as IEC, has published IEC 6007. National Fire Protection Association, NFPA, has published NFPA 497. Whereas Indian standard is IS 5572 for classification of hazardous area. In 19th and 20th century, severe fire and explosion incidents occurred in the coal mines due to sparks generated by electrical equipments. And trend continued with oil and gas industries leading to major fire and explosion incidents. This triggered the authorities worldwide to develop standards for hazardous area classification. The explosion risk is also in the industries handling solids which generate dust, such as coal, sugar, grains, etc. Many explosions are reported from these industries too. Let's start with basics and understand hazardous area classification. It is a method of analyzing and classifying the environment where explosive gas atmospheres may occur. This helps in the proper selection and installation of equipment that does not pose fire or explosion risk. Depending on the type and likelihood of the presence of explosive atmosphere or combustible dust, different electrical equipments are selected for the particular areas. Hazardous our classification is required in all industries handling flammable liquids, gases, or combustible dusts. Few examples are oil and gas storage, production, and processing plants, gas pipelines and distribution centers, refueling stations or petrol stations, underground coal mines, printing industries, paper and textiles, sewerage treatment plants, grain handling and storage and processing, flour milling industry, sugar refineries. Hazardous area is defined as an area, three-dimensional region or space, in which an explosive gas atmosphere or combustible dust is or may be expected to be present in quantities such as to require special precautions for the construction, installation, and use of equipment. Hazardous areas are classified into three zones based upon the frequency of the occurrence and duration of an explosive gas atmosphere. Zone 0, Zone 1, Zone 2 for flammable vapors or gases. And Zone 2, zero, Zone 2, 1, Zone 2, 2 for combustible dust. Zone 0 is an area in which an explosive atmosphere is present continuously or for long periods or frequently, such as vapor space above closed process vessels, storage tanks or closed containers, areas containing open tanks of volatile flammable liquid. Zone 1 is an area in which an explosive atmosphere is likely to occur in normal operation occasionally. Because of repair or maintenance or because of leakage or equipment breakdown or faulty operations, examples are areas in the immediate vicinity of vents, flame arresters, and filling hatches. Zone 2 is an area in which an explosive atmosphere is not likely to occur in normal operation but, if it does occur, will persist for a short period only. Examples are flammable vapors are handled, processed, or used are confined within closed containers of closed systems from which they can escape only as a result of accidental rupture or breakdown of the containers or system. Storage areas, areas near valves, flanges, pumps. Here you can see the zone classification of flammable vapors on left-hand sides and classification for dust on right-hand side. 